All right, get this over here. There, there, somewhere. It's in a spot now. All right. So we'll go with our first question. Um, are you a furry? No. No? All right. No. What is your opinion on, um, on furries in general? I'd say they're pretty cool and friendly. Like, the majority of people you meet online that are furries, you know, they're not, you know, dickheads. <laughs> Alright. So, you said a majority. Have you ever met, like, the minority? Have you been in contact with the minority of that furry community that's, like, dickheads or the weird fucks? Uh, well, playing VR chat, uh, yes, I have met some of the weirdos but I mean some of them are pretty cool anyway so what is um what's your thought on the, the VR chat furry community and like VR chat in general um I'd say it's a very small but like strange weird community but I mean, you do find a place to fit in, and it's pretty nice. Most people are friendly, but you know there are some degenerates here and there that you meet. Um, what well, what got you into um into VR chat? Uh, lately, I think two years ago, I was watching a lot of YouTube and uh, saw a lot of VR and VR chat content. And I thought it was really cool, so... And I did. I found out that you didn't need a VR headset to actually get into it and uh, start playing desktop. And then a year later, I end up getting VR chat, like the Valve Index and full body and everything. Even though your full body doesn't work right now? <laughs> yeah. <but laughs> That's really that. cool. <laughs> what do you think of the um like the whole full body thoughty thing in VR chat? And just in general. Like Like, like what's people... your Yeah. And like that like hierarchy that sometimes erupts from it. Yeah, well I mean Yeah, like how like the chart is like trusted user you know all of them have like vr and like full body and they have like all the avatars and you know they stare at the mirror all day but that's kind of like the top tier vr chat player you know yeah that's <laughs> but that's, um yeah all right so then when was like the first time that you actually um came into contact with the fairy community like how did you find out about it uh actually this was when i was in desktop mode and uh i was going world to world as a luigi and this luigi was like really funny so i had like an emote and it would just like make weird noises and like this everywhere and just it was funny and I met this person named Big Chillin and he was an Orexium avatar in the ones we are in right now and I started following him around because he was having a party he was drinking and we went to this world called Fur Hub just met a bunch of other people and yeah right. have you met any like furries in real life have you ever like known somebody that was a furry in real life i think i met this one person in high school uh that did like a lot of drawing and like music and stuff and he would draw multiple different characters of like the things from five nights at freddy's the robots mm -hmm. and uh I think he's a furry now, but I also met this one guy in my English class 
which I actually didn't know he was a furry until I checked his Instagram and he has a drawn out thing of his persona. That's really cool. What would you say is your worst experience in VR chat? Um, I don't know. There isn't quite like real lows, but the lows kind of go into haha funny moments. So it's like, I don't know, it's like a good trade-off. But uh, I'd say, I don't know, being around people that are like ERPing, I guess. But I've never really experienced that, but I know some of my friends have. Um, have you ever, like, made your own avatar? Have you ever had any experience in doing anything like that? Cause I know that's a big part of uh, uh, the VRC whatsoever. community. Yeah, uh, none whatsoever. Um, I do really want to get into it, but I don't know exactly how to start or where. What would you say is like your best experience in VR chat? Um, probably the best experience is. Uh, you know, hanging with the best of your friends and having a good laugh. Because that's kind of like the whole point of like VR chat, kind of. Because you can do literally almost anything with the amount of customization that goes into avatars and all of the stuff, and there's so many worlds. And it's just so great. What would you say is your favorite world? We'll go with that. Um, probably this world, the rest and sleep world is really good. And I mean, I don't have the music on, but I know it's really good music and the lighting in here is really great. What would you say is the worst world you've been to? We've got to do this thing of like the best and the worst. <laughs> so what would you say worst? Uh, if I were to think... Uh, I'd have to say the Among Us world. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Uh, I despise Among Us. Among Us is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is your thought on the whole, um, like, like the memes of VR chat? I know one of the bigger ones being, uh, the like no no don't touch me there like what what's your thought on that and the memes that come from it um i i think it's pretty good other than the fact that it draws like most of like people that can't even do like it like draws the age group of like children into vr chat and it's just like a swarm and not only that is that the meme is drawn out and milked so much <laughs> like you can't go into a public world without meeting a little kid squeaker without saying no no don't touch me there you know yeah <laughs> it's kind of annoying um what is your thought on like what type of age group should be in VR chat? Like, do you think there should be a limit on who can join and like the age they have to be? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that having a young demographic in VR chat is bad, but it is kind of bad because like the content within VR chat because it can it's limitless basically because like people can put things on avatars that are like nsfw 18 plus and i would say like this game is for you know that 18 plus category because there's that stuff in this game but there is some content in this game that is you know family friendly and it's fun and funny and whatever all right, and then um, I, I suppose to 
wrap it up, what would you say is, um, how would you review VR chat? Would you recommend it at all? Um, I think very highly of VR chat. Um, VR chat, I'd say like out of a five star, I'd rate it out like for what it's trying to be, you know, one of the top games of its of its kind. So like, uh, four four star, five star, like four and a half, I'd say. And uh, yeah, I would recommend it for anyone that has VR and is trying to make friends and have fun, have a good laugh. All right, that's gonna be it's gonna be the end of the interview. Thank you for. Uh, allowing me to interview you and mm -hmm. answering all my questions and uh yeah yep. that's gonna be it <laughs> thank you all so much for watching uh the, hopefully this comes out pretty soon um and more content will be on the way and uh yeah thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all next time peace Really wide walls. Really wide walls. My really wide walls. <laughs>